Oh, I have to confess, I have cousins in the room. So they'll, they'll know I'm making up some of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Notes between swing and graveyard. We were on our first real wage job, summer at the Del Monte plant, at night an island of pink light in the wide valley's dark sea. After a month of apricots, we sorted tomatoes from rats for ketchup, soup, sauce, and saved the firm for Safeway. <laughs> the merry few on the ship made each of us long for a lover to make money beside us, and then at home, in an apartment on Iowa or Mays Street, wandered her body still damp from sweat, still doled by work as far as muscle could last. Without a wife, excuse me, without a wife, without a girlfriend, and so worn out by the season of packing and canning that took us with sore hands and sour hair to the lip of sunrise, who would have us? Who could find us? We began to swap notes with the senioritas and girls from the other high school who giggled and left swing as we pulled up for graveyard. More florid each night, more freighted with moon and stars and promises, our misses were drawn on jagged corners of craft paper used to line the crates of ripening fruit. I wrote to Renee, and she wrote back, and we never said a word on the thick folds slipped in each other's locker. I write at break, the dead center of night, as her strawberry hair must have spilled across her pillow in sleep. Her notes to me, I would jam unread into my jeans pocket rather than ever share with my friends. Shift's end, in the gravel parking lot, before starting my ailing truck and heading off, slowly I'd unfold her sweet cursive like the gift it was. As the light outlined the distant Sierra, with day just coming up around me, and read and know her teases counted like a dream left in sleep.